basics of, of grip fighting, and make no mistake, it is grip fighting, okay? And so when we're doing the grip rondori drills here, it's the greatest drill you can do because for grip fighting, because it's like rondori without actually throwing and pinning and choking and arm locking and all that stuff. You know, so we can do it, but one thing you need to know about gripping, okay, about fighting in general, and have an upright posture, all this stuff. We're gonna cover that real quick here, so we're gonna do another couple of rounds of drills of grip right away. So after you bow and you start your manager, posture is important. Just like you know, boxing, just like you know, in any sport, you have to have good upright posture. But also when we start, hands are up like I'm looking for a movie screen. Okay, so new guys, so I just don't want to come leaning in like this. Oh my god, he's happy. Okay? So you don't want that, to, you don't want to be that guy, okay? So hands up, look at he's he's kind of low and but look at the back straight. And he's got a sugar foot there. Now you can stand straight, that's cool too, you know. But, but what I want to do is, is when we're fighting here, and when we got distance here, all right, so bow, hands up. And now, I don't just want to rush at him because guess what, I'll walk right into a throw, okay? Or I don't want to grab and start pulling and running away. We're gonna kind of here, and we're gonna kind of move laterally, stay, stay in position. Well, I can always get to see my opening. Kind of like in an MMA fight, kind of like a in a football game, you know, linebackers running along the line. Same type of thing. So your distance is important, okay? So we start. But now, once I decide to make contact with the guy, so new guys, this is important for you. I don't want to just reach and grab because look, whoa, he's going to catch me. If I reach with the same hand and same foot, he'll nail me and then I go, okay? So when I'm doing this, I want to think this directly comes from Samba, okay? When I want to get an anchor hand. So if I'm leading here, if my right foot's leading, I'll grab with my left hand, either here, here, something, I'm gonna get an anchor hand. It's an anchor. I'm holding on to him, that's the anchor. Okay, so we're gripping, if I catch my anchor hand right there. I like to go with the lapel, because I can really control the shoulders really, really well, is my anchor hand. Some guys like the sleeve, you know, your style. Everybody's a little different, okay? I always like the lapel. So notice here the position here, my hands are up. He said, oh, I've been had, now he's going to start fighting me and then we'll get at it, okay? Well, he's going to try to pull it away. And all this trade grip, that's the grip fighting, okay? But you want to get set an anchor hand, it's really important. And the other hand, you know, is your attacking hand, your probing hand, your hunting hand, whatever you want to call it. Um, we make fun, we call it the probing hand. I've got a lot of grief calling it that from these guys, okay? So call it whatever you want, you know, probing hand. But uh, this hand here is I maybe I can, you know, grab here and set a throw, or I can pull it down to the top, you know, Launch them, you know, or I can come in here, my serenagi. That's the attacking hand, right? So here's your anchor, here's your attack, okay? In Japanese terms, if you think more of judo stuff, one is like the pulling hand, the hikite, pulling hand. The other one is the surite, the lifting hand, okay? So in, in a lot of people call it the power hand or the steering hand, like the Latins call it the steering hand. So you can call it that as well. So those are what your hands are doing. So your hands are active. So one, you want to set the anchor, latch on to them, and you got to control them. Now, new guys, your distance is important. We talked about that earlier, didn't we? So we're going to come back here. Look, if I want to get in real close to him, I have to, you know, it depends on the, if, if, if I want to get, I want to get real aggressive and everything, I want to close my space and do what we call a short grip. I want to control his shoulders really well. So the closer I control the shoulders, the better I control those shoulders, the better I'm going to control him and shut him down, okay? So here's my anchor hand, I've got my back grip here, socked in with my attacking hand, and now I can kind of suck him in and throw him with a paragoshi or something. That's a real short grip, what we call very close contact, when the shoulders, are so, shoulders are very close proximity, that means your hips are close proximity, okay? Now notice we're not all bent over doing this, because if I'm bent over, he's going to get a grip, he's going to launch me into next week. So your posture is really important to have, even if you're low, like this, my, my back is straight. Now, if I want a longer grip, well, I'm here, I, I, there's more space between him and me, like for like a Tayotoshi like that, you know? Stuff like that, you could do that great. So that's what we call a longer grip, because there's more distance between my hand and his shoulder. And that's a long grip. So again, that's directly related to Sambo gripping, that we also use it in Judo, too. Jiu-Jitsu, whatever grappling sport we use a jacket. So those are all really important things. And remember, whatever's on his body and is legal within the sport we're fighting, it's okay to use. He might grab the belt, whatever. It doesn't really matter. 
Okay, the only things is we don't don't gra can't grab the side of the sleeves, you can't grab the bottom of the belt. Like a freestyle judo, you know, I can hold here as long as I'm active and aggressive. I'm, my arms are stiff and I'm kind of defensive. But keep active. I can be here, keep active, and try to throw the soda, coach, you whatever. So get your grips, mix them up. So remember, my old coach Renee Pomerel said everything's a handle. And when it comes to gripping, these jackets and belts afford us a lot of handles. So don't you know, feel free to use them. A lot of them. So try to break his posture. So what we're starting here, if I'm doing, I get my short grip. I want to break his. I want to break his posture. See how I'm using my shoulders and hands. You're not just using your hands. With the elbows. We were working on this last week with uh, Will Madani was showing this too. Using the elbows, snap people down to control. Derek was showing this as well. So see how I'm steering them. So yeah, my anchor and my, like this. Elbow. Sorry about that. <laughs> Got too close to the camera, woman. So you can see that. So the next couple of rounds, let's be very aware. When you grip Rondori, it's a great drill. Always try to be in a position to attack and defend. And also defending. If if, I, if I'm all bent over like this, he can throw me more easily. I, I think maybe my my to a novice way of thinking. Oh, I'm safe. I'm far away from him. Believe me, if he knows what he's doing, I, I'm in trouble. My best bet is to keep upright where I can leave the top of my hip. And you know, we've, we've talked about this before, he attacks, I can do it with my hip cut, boom. You know, so use your hips, they're great weapons, but your posture is essential. Got that? Kind of a short mini course in how to grip because I showed you a lot of stuff, but it really does work. So we'll do some more gripping rounds and we'll get on some other groups. Okay. Do I run, Kyle? No. no. Stand okay. Ground. Stand my ground. So bow here. Now, if I have to move, and I want to move, we're going to have to move eventually, aren't we? Yes. I'm going to move one way or the other, laterally, sideways. So I'm going to be here. And am I going to just kind of stand there and just let him grip me when no. I move sideways? No. I'm going to have my hands up because if he tries to grip me, boom, I'm going to get a better grip from him. Now, I usually grip into my power hand. Okay. So if I'm a righty, I'll usually stand on my, not always, I might want to do it on my left. But that's what a lot of guys do, and it works, the reason is because it works, okay? So as soon as we bow, hands up, okay, now, do I reach this same, same no. side? No. Not here, don't I? So, and we, and we want to make sure, do I want to get the inside grip? Yes. yes. I want to get the inside grip because that way I can control him. Even if I'm grabbing his sleeve here, if he, if he gets the grip inside my sleeve, I don't like it. I pop it. I want to get a better grip. Okay? I always want to get the inside grip. The best way to train for gripping is not some fancy clinic or doing all these one, two, three moves like this. It's grip rondori. When you want to train for gripping, grip rondori is the best drill you can do. We've done it here at Welcome Mat for years, and it really works. A lot of good clubs do it too, not just us. Okay? So my goal now. When we start our grip run, Dory, we're going to do another couple minute rounds, or a minute round, and we'll do, you know, we go on. You don't want to grip too long and grip run, Dory. You don't want to have a four or five minute round of grip run, Dory. One minute's enough. And you want to go really hard, okay? Now, I want to beat him in the grip every time. And I'm going to have in my mind all the time now is I know what throw I want to use with the grip I'm gripping with. If I'm a Tayotoshi guy, I know that my, I want to get this and I'm going to set him up. I'm going to start setting him up for my Tayotoshi. And he says, I know you're a Tayotoshi guy. I'm not going to let you have that. I'll pull away and I'll try to stop that. Okay, boom. And now we're in a grip fight. That's what we want to do. He has an idea what he wants to do. I have an idea what I want to do. But we're not going to really throw each other in grip round, rounds around Dory. We're just going to be in position. Am I bent over? Yeah. Always lead with my hips, don't I? Mm -hmm. Lead with your belly button or your hips. Button out of your belt. Okay, not, no, don't do it like this, but you want to be upright. Because I want to be able, if he attacks me, I want to be able to cut, boom, cut, and move my hips freely. If I'm all bent over like this, I'm off balance, and he can just throw me and beat me up. Okay, so we're going to do some grip run, 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 door, okay? So, get a partner, and we're going to do some rounds of grip run. Now we're doing grip rondori. 
which is an essential part of judo and sambo, any, any jacket sport, as everybody knows. And uh, we just went from one very specific grip drill and uh, that the, Coach Brink wanted him to work on tonight or today, and he's having him do a lot of grip run dory. And basically, the idea of grip run dory is to uh, you know attack, and it is grip run dory. And then you notice they're not attacking with throws at this point. They're just trying to beat each other with the grip. And coaches out there take note. Ken Brink is always giving instructions, not overdoing it. He's doing it as necessary, but he's keeping them going. He's giving them tips here and there, getting them motivated to keep gripping and get more aggressive in it. short rounds of grip round where we don't want them to go more than a minute or so simply because we don't want them to get just so focused into just gripping we want them to eventually grip and attack that's the point of it but he's uh he's having him break down from